So in the lab we're interested in the metabolism of development, which is really the process by which nutrients and their metabolites are utilized to power the growth of a small embryo into a much larger adult. And uh, I guess for the last couple of years or so, we've been particularly interested in the way in which nutrients in the form of fat molecules are taken up by growing embryos, how they're stored, and how they're subsequently metabolized. And it turns out that um, a large proportion of the lipid inside a growing animal is stored within cells in very tiny discrete particles called lipid droplets. And because lipid droplets appear to behave somewhat differently in different cell types within the growing animal, for example, let's say the liver versus adipose tissue, it's very important to develop methods that allow one to focus on, to image, to quantify different lipid molecules within single cells with a very uh, fine-grained level of, of detail. And it's fair to say that this has been a, a real challenge in the field, but fortunately, recently, we've been able to harness a new and emerging technique, which is called MIMS for short, which stands for Multi-Isotope Imaging Mass Spectrometry, which is a bit of a mouthful, but in brief, uh, I'm going to try and illustrate how it works. So what we have is a primary ion beam, which is focused via an ion microscope onto a tissue section, so that's the, the specimen down here. I'm going to represent within this specimen two cells. Here's one green cell, here's another green cell. And in response to um, irradiation by this primary ion beam, we have secondary ions which are released. And these secondary ions can then be focused onto a mass detector. And as the name suggests, the mass detector gives us information about the molecular weight and also the charge of the uh, ions which are released here. And in this way, we can um, have a good guess as to what types of molecules they are. And of course, we know exactly pinpointed where they come from. So if we focus the system on an individual lipid droplet here, then we can get information about the kinds of lipid molecules contained within that. And by scanning this system point by point across the whole specimen, we can build up a good uh, image of, of what's going on. And so, in a very fruitful collaboration with Claude Lachan and colleagues at Harvard Medical School, who are experts in the use of this technology, Andrew Bailey and myself here at NIMR were able to uh, use this to image and quantify individual lipid species inside a single lipid droplet in a single cell within the uh, intestine and adipose tissue. And now that this proof of principle study uh, is in the public domain and also a couple of others from our, our collaborators, we hope that it will encourage other labs to expand the use of this technology into different areas of, of metabolism and possibly even further afield. And we also hope that it will stimulate the development of this kind of imaging technology to uh, yet more sophisticated levels.